This summer has been a record-breaking scorcher, with temperatures rising into the high 30s. High temperatures are generally a nice change from our cold Canadian winters. Rising mercury means trips to the beach, dips in the pool, and ice cream. Sizzling heat and humidity, however, can be taxing on the body. Patients who are elderly, the very young as well, people with a history of medical problems like heart disease or lung disease, and those with psychiatric conditions are those most at risk. A scorching heat wave killed 106 Montrealers in 2010. And in 2011, high heat and humidity caused 10 fatalities over the summer, and many more illnesses and hospitalizations. If you think of the human body as an engine, kind of like a car, we can think of the different components. A car has uh, a pump in it, uh, like the heart, that keeps it's fluid going, like the coolant. The fluid, of course, the coolant is your blood. When you have a heat stress in the body, the pump or the heart beats faster, pumping more coolant to the skin, which is like your radiator. So with the, the coolant coming to the skin, you're able to release energy. Now, if there's a problem with that, because the pump is stressed, because you already have an underlying heart condition, or because you're taking medication that prevents your heart from beating faster, this can be a problem with releasing heat. If you're missing fluid, so the coolant level is low, then you'll also have problems releasing heat. So what exactly is too hot? Environment Canada issues extreme hot weather warnings when the air temperature is above 30 degrees Celsius and the humidex is above 40 degrees Celsius. Thanks to the blazing summer sun, Montrealers are encouraged to stay out of the heat and even indulge in some relaxing activities. Prevention is key. If you can ensure activities that avoid you going into a heat environment, uh, going outside during the hottest parts of the day, making sure you drink sufficient amounts of liquids, and um, if necessary, going into cool air-conditioned environments, that will help prevent you from having a heat emergency. To keep uh, fresh during the summer, I like bringing uh, water with me always because uh, you need to hydrate yourself. Then uh, always having sugar with you, like a snack, because you need energy. If ever it's too hot, you need to like eat something to fill up your energy. So yeah, that's my trick. And usually if it's way too hot, we just stay indoors with the air conditioner to keep cool. And uh, if it's not too bad, we go outside and sit, because there's usually a nice breeze around here. So. Um. Well, since we have a small baby, he's six months old, we, when it's really hot, we stay in the apartment with air conditioning. Um, and we usually go out either very early in the morning or later on in the day to really beat the heat. The main message is to be vigilant, not just for yourself, but for neighbors, family members, children, or even an elderly person that lives next door. Just checking in on them can make a huge difference. Now, if despite your efforts at trying to treat your feelings, you begin to feel worse. And if you notice any changes in mental status, either in yourself, of course, in a family member who you're concerned about, please don't hesitate to call 911 to come to the hospital, because this can be a significant emergency. For JGH-TV, this is Astrid Moran.